Hello, friends. Hello, all my beautiful friends. I don't know what else to say. Um, I This music seems really loud, so I hope that it's not... Um, let me turn it down on my computer. Oh, that, no, that's up. It is quite loud. This is a very loud game. All right, so... We were picking a route. So we have Cinderella and Red Riding Hood, and psh, I choose this one. Cinderella. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Together, you and Alice reach out to the mirror. Then you walk through the glass and jump down into the looking glass world. Ooh. Bum, bum, bum. fairy tale the love gift I don't know what that means hmm now I will unmute it hopefully that did mute it but if not oh well once upon a time in the looking glass world there lived a selfish arrogant and upset upstart named Cinderella his father a commoner was the founder of cinder textiles a self-made man who had assembled or amazed a, an incredible fortune Ama amassed i don't know amassed an incredible fortune over his lifetime heir to his father's assets cinderella grew up having everything handed to him on a silver platter and as an adult he became the A Notorious Playboy. That is not what I was expecting, but. Every weekend he held a banquet. He wore only the finest clothes from the finest brands, and his wristwatches were all studied, studded with jewels. Crowds of people flocked to him. Wherever he went. Hi. Nice party, ne? Itouchi ni aru kono kissa ten. Anata ga kaitot tan desho? Ah, ma na. Yappa jirai wa fudousan touchi taro. Saikin ja kono hen no chika ga agari tsuzukeru ippo da. Sore de ude dokei to kuruma o shinchou shita ってわけね。それにあなたがつけてる指輪も。
欲しいのかさあどうかしらうんいいぜあんたの好きなもの全部やるよその代わり今夜は俺に付き合えよええ<笑>今夜楽しみにしてるわマンション、カンドーズ、ラグシュリーカーズ、ユーネーム。If he wanted it, he bought it. 本日はお招きいただきありがとうございました。今宵の素晴らしい音楽と人との出会いに感謝を。ああ。あの、それでこの前の有志の件なんですが、考えてみてはいただけたでしょうか。ああそういえばそんなもんもあったなあいいぞしてやるよいくら必要なんだ言ってみろよあ,ありがとうございますやはりあなたは素晴らしい人だ He lived a glamorous life most people could only dream of All who knew him respected him, feared him, and eagerly kissed up to him. Oi! Shirayuki! Gretel! Hm? No, Nini, so. Shirayuki! Conna to go ni yagata no ga! Oh, my na! Sabot ten ja ne yo! ここの給仕だろうが何悠長に読書なんてしてんだ閉店時間はとっくに過ぎてるあとは俺のプライベートタイムお前は年中プライベートタイムじゃねえか<笑>ソンデレラは2人の子供は2人の子供は2人の子供は2人の子供は2人の子供は2人He made them both work for him at the cafe. From cooking to cleaning, he forced all the most annoying jobs on them. Gretel was. So, eh? Chugo ni kikomote, Okashi mo tskutte るんじゃない Hm, ma ta kashi zukri ka. So no jo netsu skoshi de mo shigoto ni mukete kreleba, jitsu eki mo kanete saiko na no ni yo. お前はサボりなわけかいいご身分だなしつこい兄さんだって主催者のくせに早々に引っ込んだだろ<笑>主催者だから引っ込むんだろパーティー費用を出したのは誰だこの家の持ち主は誰だ俺だろ俺様のものだつまり俺様イズルールはいはいそれに俺がいなくなったところであいつらが困り果てる顔が見たいんだよあいつらと来たら俺に物乞いばかりしやがる宝石だ勇士だバカみたいになだからあいつらにわざといい顔して浮かれさせて後でバックレてやるんだよその時のあいつらの顔と来たら見物だな<笑>悪趣味だね<笑> Yes ああそうだこの宝石もいくらしたと思ってやがるあんなイケスかねえ女に似合うわけねえだろうがよしするわけねえだろバーカてめえの会社の不始末は自分で付き上がれ。俺はな、ああいう鼻持ちならねえ連中の鼻を真っ二つに折るのが最高に楽しいんだよ。うん。自分のことは棚にあげるんだ。<笑>ああ、なんか言ったか。別に。<笑> Good words now. なあ、もういいや。何でもいい喉が渇いたなんか飲み物くれ飲み物ここには何もないよ
下に戻ればいい好きなだけ飲めるんじゃない下に戻ったらまたあいつらにたかられるだろうだったらこっちに来るんじゃなくて外にでも出ればよかったんじゃないの気分じゃないおとなしくたかられてろ<笑>エンジョイですお前なあこんな女みてえな顔して。ああここにいたのかシンデレラ兄さんお客さんが呼んでいますよおグレーテルちょうどいいなんか飲み物くれ持ってないなら取りに行ってこいお兄様命令だ嫌です自分で取りに行ってください<笑>おちなみにはいこれ僕が作った新作のショートブレッドです僕はもういらないので客人に振る舞うなりなんなり適当に処理してくださいお前が作ったんならお前が運べよ何人に押し付けようとしてんだてか今さっき下から来たばかりだろ営業時間内ならともかくこれは僕が個人的にあくまで趣味で制作したもので誰のために作ったものでもありませんですが僕は試食の段階でお腹がいっぱいになったのであとは全て兄さんにあげますいわゆる余り物というやつですどうせ白雪兄さんは口にしないだろうしそうだね押し付けかよだいたい今そんなもん食ったら口がパサパサして余計喉が渇くだろうが俺は喉が渇いてるんだだったら下の階に戻ればいいでしょう。好きなだけ飲めますよ。それに、十八歳未満は休日労働、深夜労働が禁止されています。<笑>あなたがどうしても働けというのなら、労働基準法であなたを訴えることになりますが。労基所に駆け込む。お前ら、それが実の兄に対する態度か。変わらず昭和な連中だなあなたには言われたくありませんあんたには言われたくないシンデレラさんシンデレラさんほら呼んでるよシンデレラ兄さんお前ら後で覚えてろよ捨てゼリフが完全に悪者のそれだねいわゆる負け犬ゼリフというやつですね。相変わらずのヘタレだな。His heart, his money, his life, all the color in the world has faded to an ashen gray. And they call him Cinderella. ねえ、それ、どうするのお。<laughs> oh. Once upon a time in the looking glass world, there was a mansion. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. It was nearly min midnight, and all the good boys and girls were meant to be in bed. But as I was distinctly not, distinctly not a good girl, the night found me sneaking around the mansion in the dark. Dot, dot, dot. Arriving at the front door, I reached for the knob. He san, doko ikun? Yonaka ni onna no koga hitori ariki suru no wa kanshin se hen na. Ah! I yelped in surprise at the sudden voice behind me. That voice could only belong to one person. After all, he was the only other resident in this house. But what's the matter, Kaguya? Why are you stopping me? Smiling nervously, I tried to face my loyal servant Kaguya, who grinned back. Okay, 
case you're wondering, poppet is a term of endearment that means something to the effect of sweethearts. While I'm at it, bird means girl, and Annette is how he says it's. It's is. What? It's it. Dialects are fun. Yes. I'm not going to put myself in danger. I'm just stepping out for some fresh air. Admittedly, this excuse probably would have been more credible if I hadn't been carrying a large suitcase in one hand. Don't worry, I'll come back. I'm just going for a walk. Yeah, that's it. Kaguya walks, walked right up to me and snatched my snoot case away. I, I'm not running away. I'm just leaving for a while. That's all. Kaguya was genuinely a patient man and my voice faltered in the face of his sudden naked fury. His smile didn't reach his eyes. Instantly, I knew he was going to do everything in his power to stop me. But he couldn't possibly back down, and so, clasping my hands together, I pleaded like my life depended on it. Please, Kaguya, let me go. Ta ta ta. Silence fell between us. Oh, he's sad. Oh, when I finally opened my eyes again, Kaguya heaved the world's biggest sigh. <sighs> What arranged marriage, you ask? Let's rewind to a few days ago. Oh dear. It all started one fine afternoon. What's this? Kaguya handed me a hot cup of tea along with a mysterious manila folder. An outline of your perspective. Fiance, just go. Oh, is he talking about photo, family history and all that jazz? Since when do I have a fiance? Sure enough, the folder contained a photo of a man I'd never met, as well as his personal records. Interesting. Somehow it didn't feel real. Truth be told, I don't know the first thing about arranged marriage. I gazed at a photo, at the photo. There, the man was depicted holding a long stick of some kind. A billiard cue, perhaps? Why isn't he looking at the camera? This is the first question that came to my mind. In fact, the man in this photo scarcely seems to have noticed the camera at all. Granted, this was my first experience with a prospect prospective prospective fiancé, as it were, but weren't they supposed to have a tiny bit harder to look for... Weren't they supposed to try a bit a, a bit harder to look presentable? Ah, that seems sleazy. You took this without his permission? Do you realize he could sue you for that? Right? 
I looked up to find Kaguya smiling innocently. <laughs> oh, so it's okay as long as you didn't get caught? There were so many things wrong with this statement. I couldn't. I could have kept going, but I had a feeling I'd only end up giving myself an ulcer. Probably. My gaze fell back to the documents. All of his personal information was listed there, from his full name to his address. Stalker! What sort of man is he, this Cinderella? Oh. <laughs> I don't have all the. Oh. I had a feeling Kaguya probably shouldn't have let out, let that slip, but he didn't seem at all bothered. Dot dot dot. I stared at him. He smiled sheepishly. Sheepishly. But they don't want me to say no, do they? それはまあそうやな。相手方は絶対金持ちみたいやし、この縁談を決めてくれたらうちも安泰やな。At this, I promptly dropped the folder back into the table. Okay, that settled it. Settles it. I'll meet with him and have the marriage talk. I think he's slowly becoming my favorite character. And that brings us to tonight. I said I'd talk with him. I never said I was ready to marry him. I know that. In fact, it practically seals the deal. I came from a fairly wealthy family myself, but from the sounds of it, our fortune was merely a drop in the bucket compared to his. And I knew our families wouldn't attempt to marry, arrange this marriage unless there was some foreseeable benefit for both sides. So I wasn't about to throw it all in the trash just for my own conven convenience. Not when I knew they were all counting on this working out. Meanwhile, Kaguya tilted his head at me. だったらなんでな? <laughs> You never said any of that. At this point, it's practically slander. <laughs> he was clearly playing dumb, of course. Why was he so eager to trash talk the Cinderella guy? Anyway, I cleared my throat. Listen here, Kaguya. I don't approve of you bow-mouthing someone you've never met, even met. Nor do I approve of gossip. That's why I've decided to see him for myself exactly what sort of person he is. He's a... Pop it. Kaguya's smile weakened a fraction of an inch. So I pressed on. I know you'll get in trouble for this, and I'm sorry, but I can't stay here. If I don't do this, I just know I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. I can't marry a stranger. I need to learn more about him first. You gave her his address. Did you not say that? His tone was gentle. In response, I put my hands on my hips. Hehehehehe. <laughs> No problem. I've got this little beauty right here. With an 
air of confidence, I pulled out the manila folder. The info doc inside had a mailing address listed for him. Thus, I decided I would track down his house, find him, and observe him for a few days. Okay, so she's going to stalk him. <laughs> Steak out! Hope we got snacks. Unfortunately for me, life was about to throw a wrench in my plans. What? He's not? I stared blankly black. Blankly black. Blah, 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 blah. Nowhere in this folder did it say he was living somewhere else. This meant, of course, that my plan was sunk. Dot, dot, dot. After a long moment of silence... Oh, that's weird. What will you do now that you're out of leads? I'm gonna ask precious boy for help. Could you tell me where he's staying now? I put my best puppy dog guy. Put on my best puppy dog guys. Thank you, Kaguya. And so it was that Kaguya joined me on my nighttime excursion. Kaguya is such a great guy. Not only did he agree to come with me, but he insisted on carrying my luggage and even gave me his coat. A true gentleman. Oh. And don't worry about my parents. I'll do everything in my power to vouch for you. And if they get mad about this, I'll explain to them this wasn't your fault. Through my parents' frequent travel all over the country for work, they were scarcely ever home. They kept on regular contact with Kaguya. And on the off chance they found out about me sneaking out of the house at night, to go track down my future fiance. I knew they would be furious. But Kukuguya didn't deserve to take the brunt of that anger, and so I needed to stand up for him. After all, I was the one who dragged him into this. He patted me on the head. Are you sure about this? If they find out how much you helped me, they'll grill you for sure. Thank you so much. I love you. He was so touched, I wrapped... I was so touched, I wrapped my arms around his neck and gave him a big hug. Aww. He stroked the back, stroked my back like he was consoling me, consoling a child. This was precisely why I liked him so much. Then marry him! I'm just kidding. That'll be a different route. I don't know when his comes out. This is where Cinderella lives? Mmm. Mmm. With Kukuya leading the way, we soon arrived at the shopping district. With its high altitude that kept things nice and cool in the summertime, the Looking Glass World was a popular resort location. The shopping district, in particular, was quite sophisticated. The main street was lined with museums and other historical buildings. And there were plenty of shops and cafes for the tourists. Oop, I hope I don't. That said, they were all closed by now, as you expected from a sleepy little town like ours. Why are they throwing in Japanese? I'm really confused by this. Totemo Suteki. Suteki. It's so lively. Yes, sir. I 
I dashed out in the middle of the street and twirled around, giddy with excitement. This town is so pretty at night. Through the shops were all closed. Though the shops were all closed, there were still lights on a few in a few windows. But that wasn't the only light, of course. There were street lamps as well as the moon and stars shining down on us from high above. <laughs> Same. Behind me, Kuguya chuckled at my antics. Indeed, the shopping district was enjoyable at any hour of day. I turned to respond. Ach! Oops. Oh, she fell. Before I could catch myself, I slipped and promptly face planted on the ground. She's up! was painful, and by painful I mean painfully embarrassing. <laughs> Kukuya rushed over to me and helped me to my feet. Thank you. No, no, no. I'm fine. My body ached from the impacts, but otherwise I was fine. No cuts or scrapes. He brushed the grim from my clothes. I couldn't see much out here in the dark, but even evidently the dirt stains were especially noticeable on the white fabric of my dress. Oh, it's no big deal. It'll come out in the wash. I did as requested, and he rubbed the palm clean with a handkerchief. Now your handkerchief's gonna get all grimy. Thank you, Kaguya. He patted my head. Oh. Yes, sir. Yoshi, Yoshi. Yoku de Kimashita. Oh, you Without hesitation, Kaguya took me by the hand and led me down the street. Did I have this on full screen last time? I don't know how to do that. Mm hmm. Full screen maximize the window without changing the resolution. And I did. Okay. Back on. And that's how we found ourselves standing outside a fancy brick building. What is this place? I had a feeling I knew the answer, but decided to ask anyway, just in case. I wouldn't want to bust down the wrong person's door after all. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm impressed he started a business at such a young age. My interest in Cinderella instantly skyrocketed. The info doc hadn't mentioned anything about a cafe. Clearly, I made the right choice in coming here to see him for myself. Or so I thought, until... Kaguya unceremoniously killed my hype. Well... It's still really cool that he's running the place all on his own. I dug in my heels. Dot dot dot. 
And so my dreams were summarily crushed. Instantly, my mental image of Cinderella transformed from a working class hunk to an upper class snob. I hastily shook the thought from my mind. After all, it wasn't right to jump to conclusions about someone I'd never met. Jeez, Gaguya, you must really have it out for this guy. He shrugged at his shoulders, chuckling. Kaguya was normally a pretty nice guy, but for some reason, all compassion went out the window when it came to Cinderella. I almost wanted to ask him if he was jealous, but I had a feeling he'd probably just judge, dodge the question. I knew all of his usual tactics. Helping to switch gears, I glanced back at the cafe. There was no sign out front, so it was kind of hard to tell if, the, if it was a cafe at all. The lights were on, suggested the place was still open, and I could faintly hear classical music playing over a low, murm over low murmuring voices. Are they holding some kind of event here? Burming with curiosity, I approached the front window. I'll be fine. I slowly peered inside the building. Evidently, there was some kind of party going on. People were dancing, drinking, and generally, generally having a good time. Now, which one of them is Cinderella? I scanned a guest looking for a man from the photograph. Unfortunately, I had next to no confidence that I could pick him out in the crowd. Yeah, maybe not. I sighed. Ah. The sun voice behind me made me jump out of my skin. I'm sorry, I'm not looking to rob you, I swear. <laughs> okay. I rolled around and my jaw dropped. Standing there was a guy dressed in all white. Dot, dot, dot. I, uh. Mine went blank mid sentence. His striking appearance had completely blown me away. Everything about him was as white as snow, even his hair. I'd never seen anyone like him. He's so beautiful. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> A moment of silence passed. As I ogled him up and down, the guy looked away from me and s stared down at the ground in discomfort. So, sorry, um, do you work here? So, that's what I'm he couldn't meet my- he didn't meet my gaze. Gosh, what do I do? Kaguya- Kagu- what the? Panicking, I turned to Kaguya for help, only to find that he had seamlessly vanished, leaving me- leaving only my suitcase behind. I immediately looked around the area and spotted him waving at me from around the corner of the building. Uh, do you know si- Attempting to bounce back from his betrayal, I decided to ask the guy flat out. But the words quickly died in my throat. Da, da, da. What was I thinking? I couldn't ask him about Cinderella directly. As my perspective fiancé, there was no good chance that Cinderella knew all about me. Knew about me at all. Or by now. And if he were to find me here, he'd surely realize I'd come here to essentially investigate him, and he'd probably be really offended. Not only would the marriage talks be canceled, be called off on the spot, but Kaguya would probably get in huge trouble. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. It's a lot of silence. And so silence fell between us once more. The first time I had a fairly good excuse, considering his appearance was so stunning, but twice I really needed to get my act together. <laughs> get it together! I struggled to think of an excuse. Why do you have to have an excuse? Just say, I'm new here, I just got in town, what's going on? No, I can't. 
because, uh, I couldn't think of a good explanation for that either. Because I'm... I racked my brain, expressed desperate to think of something, anything, but in my panic, I could only open and close my mouth like a goldfish. Dot, dot, dot. Then, as silence fell for a third time, my stomach let out a loud, gruelly growl. Lots of dots. That's weird. How am I hungry again after that big dinner we ate? He totally heard that too. Kill me now! Um, I... The guy reluctantly took a hold of me by the arm. Uh, what? Huh? And so he led me away, his fingers like ice against my skin. Confused, I looked back at Guguya, only to find that he had once again vanished into thin air. At two, Guguya. <laughs> dot dot dot. A mysterious guy led me through the cafe side entrance and into what appeared to be the kitchen area. The kitchen was spacious and clean, furnished with a table and four chairs. The guy gestured for me to take a seat, so I did. Then he sat down across from me, elegantly crossed his legs, and picked up his book. Hi. Aww, they're serving her. How cute! Here you go. Thank you. Placed before me was a plate stacked with color colorful rectangular things. What is this? I looked up to find a different, more smartly dressed guy staring back at me. Short of bread, this is Scotland, or die here through yoga. She knows the yo a bata cookie. This is a show book. Not in our end joke. I think I'm a You made these? Hi, book got screen much. That's awesome. Better cookies I knew were generally plain and unadorned, but his short bed was quite the opposite. They were brightly decorated with sprinkles, sugar pearls, and powdered sugar of all different colors. They were so gorgeous; they looked like they looked less like snacks and more like jewels. Can I have one? Those are. With his blessing, I took one from the plate, then took a bite, and oishi, delicious! It was so good I couldn't help but squeal in delight. This is the best cookie I've ever had. I can eat the whole plate. Betsuni kamae masen yo. Anata ga tabe nakereba kono mama haiki shobun ni shite shimau tokoro deshita kara. What? No, don't throw him away. The guy flinched, and I realized I inevitably shouted in his face. Oh, sorry, I got a little overexcited there. Yeah. Shirayuki Nisan ga koko ni anata o tsurete kita toki wa odoroita kedo. Kou shite yorokonde kurete yokatta desu. I glanced over at the guy sitting across from me, and I followed suit. So you're Snow White. What a lovely name. It suits you to a T. It was my honest opinion, and yet he didn't even look up from his book. Ah, so you have a Jiko Shokai Ga Mada Deshtane. Bokwa, Gretel to Yimas. Gretel. Nice to meet you, Gretel. My name is. Just then, a certain realization hit me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I completely forgotten this was Cinderella's cafe. And now here we were in the kitchen, an area that was almost certainly off limits to customers, <laughs> which meant these men had to be Cinderella's employees, otherwise they couldn't have brought me here. Eritsu. My name's Erisu. Desperate for a... Mm. I gave them the first thing that popped into my head. My own surname. Nice going, me. Arisu. Hey. Oh, you think so? Thank you. Or thanks. 
This had taken an unexpected turn. Apparently he misheard my name as Alice and said, regardless, I decided to play along. Alice. There's another Alice? I tilted my head in confusion. It sounded like this other Alice person was somewhat somewhere in the building. Ah, the next one is the building. Alice is not in the building. Oh, interesting. So the second floor is designated living space, I take it. What's he like? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Gretel and Snow White struck me as fairly weird themselves, so I couldn't begin to imagine how weird this other Alice must have been. So you two are brothers, right? Do you live here too? So this man. Wow, you're so young too. So you three, so you three are all, what's the term, tenants? I tried my best not to make it obvious that I was digging for info. Yeah, we're a little different. I'm the owner of Cinderella. Cinderella's younger brothers. I leaped to my feet and nearly lunged across the table. Gretel looked at me dubiously and I realized my error. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I hastily sat myself back down in my chair. Yeah, of course. He's kind of famous in these parts, you know? Loath as I was to admit it, it was exactly in line with everything Kaguya had told me. Are you really going to badmouth your own brother like that? Gretel gestured to the plate of cookies on the table. Oh, right. Thank you. At his... At his promote prompting, I took another one and bit into it. The more I ate, the drier my throat started to feel. Da, da, da. I looked up at Gretel. Sure, this was technically his cafe. That didn't mean I felt comfortable asking him to fetch me a drink. Gretel, Startled, I wiped whipped my head around to look at Snow White. Dot dot dot. But he was still absorbed in his book. Ah, so yeba so this then. Sumimasen kigatskana kute. Gretel hurried off to the sink to put water in the kettle. Oh no no. Don't apologize. I'm the one mooching here. I hastily got to my feet and stopped him. I'll make the tea for us. Uh, er, if you don't mind, that is. Thanks. I took the kettle, set it on the stove, and grabbed three cups from the cupboard. A few minutes later, I poured steaming hot tea into each of the teacups. As the amber liquid descended into the porcelain con con constraints, the scent of citrus filled the room. Yeah, I drink tea all the time. What about you? Oh, I see. Once I finished pouring a cup for everyone, I carried them over to the table. Here you are. Sip. He smiled faintly. Glad to hear it. What about you, Snow White? 
but Snow White promptly closed his book and got to his feet. Where are you going? And he walked out of the kitchen without another word, leaving his untouched cup of tea behind. Did I upset him? Gretel waved his hand dismissively. Yeah, so you walk it out. He doesn't like food. How can anyone not like food? Yeah, that's right. That doesn't sound healthy. So, what does he eat then? Seriously, you gotta eat something. Gretel picked up his teacup tea and shrugged. さあ、なんでしょうね。白雪兄さんは武器用だし、料理を作ってる様子もない。ああ、でもリンゴをかじっているのは一度だけ見たな。Shocker, Snow White's eaten an apple. An apple? That's it? え?リンゴだけ。That's it. That must be why he's so small and frail looking. Like a... Before I could finish this sentence, Gretel... Plunked his teacup down into the table with a thud. いちおいっておきますが、白雪兄さんの容姿についてあまり触れない方がいいですよ。他人となら構いませんが、本人には禁句です。Why even if it's a compliment? But he's so pretty. <laughs> Men folk. <laughs> Why not? Because it's a girl thing? Bingo! Hmm. Not that I think about it. I wouldn't really want to be called manly. But then again, I wouldn't mind if someone called me a badass. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I suppose I would. Yep, life's just more fun this way. I curled my lips into a playful smirk and Gretel grinned in kind. But that was where our peace. Peaceful little moment came to an end. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so exaggerated. <laughs> Something I would do, like, forcefully. Just then the door flew open and an overpowering stench of alcohol blew in. Suck excite. booze. And who should walk in but none other than Cinderella himself. Gretel shout a disgusted scowl at the intruder. Every time Cinderella opened his mouth, he exuded alcohol fumes. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Oh, he was disgusted. He looked at me suspiciously, and I flinched. Nothing about this had gone according to plan. I only came to observe him. I didn't mean for him to find me so soon. Dot dot dot. Oh, I'm... Should I be honest with him? Should I tell him, hi, I'm Yuki Aritsu, and I'm here to learn more about you? Uh, no girl. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But Cinderella didn't really seem that interested in me and said he handed, headed 
before the sink clinging to the walls as he went. Wait. I grabbed him by the shoulder, but he shook me off and kept going. Then he came to a stop, clamped a hand on his mouth, and doubled over. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much so if he did it in the sink. <laughs> so Cinderella and Gretel sat at the table. Meanwhile, I was washing the dish rag and I was washing the dish rag and the sink. <laughs> そうですか。それでは訓戒を垂れるのはやめて。実力講師に出ることにします。ああ。グレトル。The way things were going, Gretel's punishment was boarding on inhumane. お前、お兄か。悪魔か。サディストか。嫌だな、兄さん。僕は天使ですよ。お前のような天使がいてたまるか。気持ち。さあ、あいつら安酒なんて持ってきやがって。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Are you feeling any better now, at least? あ、やくだ。こっちが最悪だ。ああ。でも、吐いたら少しはすっきりしたぞ。もっとすっきりさせるために、僕が眠りにつかせてあげましょうか? Here, use this. I handed Cinderella my handkerchief. Browning, he looked from me to the handkerchief and back, then his lips twisted in a malicious grin. <laughs> Oh, poverty Jane. Damn, Yep. Uh oh. I was a little caught off guard by his haughty attitude, but nevertheless, I promptly reacted, re retracted my offer. Who? Be? I'm... I sat short and tilted my head and thought... Did he not recognize me? Gretel, お前の女が。お前の女を連れ込むなんざ珍しいじゃねえか。僕じゃない。白雪兄さんですよ。白雪？あの人間嫌いがか。犬か猫とでも間違ったんじゃねえよな。Not a dog。女の見りゃわかる。Did you do you not know who I am? I decided to ask him flat out. あ、知ってたら、この俺があんたみたいな貧乏人のことは。
I was right. He doesn't recognize me. Oh, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Right? Dot, dot, dot. それは悪かったな。金で。Oops, sorry. I did, don't need your money. Thank you. だってよ。ああ、くそ。すっきりしない。That's. But before I could stop him, Cinderella took a big swig of the tea I'd originally made for Snow White. Thank you. It had, been, had to have been ice cold by now, but evidently he liked it just fine. He chugged the rest of it, then set the cup down and looked back at me. Oh, I just used what you had available here. Well, the flavor can change depending on how you brew it, so maybe that has something to do with it. Oh. I couldn't tell if he was actually impressed or simply giving me a perfunctual, perfunctionary response. Then he looked me up and down and said, I couldn't believe it. Who? Me? Never in my wildest dreams did I see this coming. Ah, so that. I was looking for someone. 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 Excuse me, princess. Anta, me shi o tsukuru no wa suki ka? I do. Souji to sandaku wa. That too. Nara, mondai ne na. Doda. Anta, koko de hataraite miru kiyo ne ka? Kyu kyu no azumu ze. Yes, please. Naturally, I agreed on the spot. It was the perfect opportunity. I couldn't possibly pass it up. The two of us exchanged a high five. Huh? Just a honky desk? Can't even a man who has no manners be allowed to be in a house? I can't even imagine such a thing. Well, it's fine. No. I clasped my hands together and batted my lashes. Pretty please. Dot dot dot. He didn't flinch, but after a moment, he let out a long, resigned to sigh. Ma, ここはシンデレラ兄さんの店ですし、兄さんがいいなら僕も構いませんが。Thank you so much. We exchange another high five. <laughs> What's with the high fives? I don't understand. Oh, um, actually, I don't have anywhere to stay. Works for me. Currently, I did a fist bump. <laughs> oh my god, fist pump. Oh, jeez. Kyokara Kokonga Antano Heada. Ma skinny scut the gray. This is my room? Wow. It was an adorable room, all decked out in pink and white. Nani Boget to stand there. I have hired He pushed me inside. The whole room was clean and tidy. Evidently, it saw regular upkeep. Was someone living here recently? It's just so cute and fully furnished, too. 
まあな大抵のもんは揃ってんじゃねえか Gosh, I almost don't feel right moving in such a lovely room. Betsy, eh? Saki mo it the tori. Yachin wa kukin kara gite o s h i n a Thank you. I couldn't hide my excitement. Is more I could possibly ask for. Oh, oh, or any kansha shiro. Personality wise, he came off as a little aggressive, but maybe deep down he had a heart of gold. Honestly, I'd half expected him to dump me into some cobweb ridden attic or something. So they were so poor. He fixed me with a stern look. Yes. Oh, Yanta. It's time for you to take off those clothes. Excuse me, pardon? You want me to repay you with my body? Now, this was something I really did not see coming. Dot, dot, dot. Licked me sharply in the forehead. Daring, a me me ten, a bimboni, or I te suruka. So no kitane, fude, bed to ni agaru kikate, ten da yo. Oh, right. I looked down at myself. I hadn't noticed until just then, but here under the light, sure enough, there were dirt stains all over my dress. Must be from when I face planted on the street. On the way here. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Wait, are you saying you'd be willing if I. You'd be willing if I wasn't so poor? <laughs> Not particularly, no. I stared blankly back at him. Nada. Totto to sono kittane f k u n u i d e Yes, sir. Sasoka Stakara Hataraita Moranga Skyne to Motta Kubida Karana. So Gondova, Yoko Boyte Okundana. Ah, they're throwing this Japanese at me. Mo Chiron Dasu, I know that one. Dasu. Tenchu, yes, sir. I'm confused why they do that. Gave him my best salute. Yes. <laughs> Good. So no That's the spirit. And with that, Cinderella left the room. Dot dot dot. Hee hee hee. Once he was gone, I could finally let out the laugh I've been biting back. Everything had worked out more perfectly than I ever could have imagined. Apparently, Cinderella and his brothers had mistaken me for a commoner, or a street rat, I guess. And now that I was going to be working here, I'd have more than enough opportunity to get to know my prospective fiance. Thus, I decided I would adopt the person of Alice, the, mystery, mis the mysterious wife. <laughs> Waif? Wife? Waif? In order to learn more about Cinderella. Well, I couldn't pretend I wasn't worried about Kaguya, part of me was excited for the days ahead. Oh, that's right. I remembered Cinderella s u g g e s t i o n and undid my corset. After the night, I was ready to pass out in bed, but first, I needed to change into my pajamas. Good thing I decided to bring a few days worth of clothes, just in case. What I should do with my dirty laundry. But right as I unzip my dress, I, I let it fall to my ankles. Oh, he was at the door. He was at the door. It's called knocking on someone's door, sir. Did you forget how that works? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. It's a k e d Jana. <laughs> Just please. On second thought, maybe this won't be so easy after all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was great. Dot, dot, dot. Light shone against my eyelids and I stirred from my slumber. 
Hmm. I sat up and stretched. Oh, right. I moved in with Cinderella last night. I opened the window and let some fresh air into the room. The golden rays of the morning sun felt warm against my skin. All right, let's do this. And so we have my new life at the cafe. As you know, my name is Alice, and starting today, I'll be joining the team. Thanks for having me. That morning, I doned my best cheer as we all met up downstairs. I got the sense that there was still some lingering awkwardness from last night, but I decided to ignore it. Now that she's here, I can step down. What are you gonna do? Sure, no problem. But if it gets busy, I'd appreciate if you could help me out. He shot a hopeful I shot a hopeful look at Snow White. Nod. Apparently that's a yes. よう、じゃ納得がいったようです。さっき、come pretty much what I was expecting. Are there any special rules? Do I have to greet each customer in a certain way? 特にないので、自由でお願いします。いらっしゃいませ、旦那様でも、ご主人様でも構いません。ああ。ですが、一つだけ注意点が。What's <笑> Oh, that's great. Okay, okay, I promise not to go into the kitchen. I held my hands up like he had me at gunpoint. ありがとうございます。では、早速僕は厨房にこもらせていただきますので、後のことは全て白雪兄さんとあなたに一任します。With a wave, he turned on his heels and began to walk away. Wait, how do I communicate the customer's order? to you if I can't go into the kitchen. There's a train if you hear it. My apologies. He said as though it were the most obvious thing in the world. What? 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 No customers in the middle of shopping district? Is that even possible? Oh, okay. But what if we do get a customer? うちのメニューには軽食の一つも載っていませんから。え、え、え、え、え、え、え。何そう、なった。Why Okay, but... デザートは僕が適当に用意します。出来上がったらあなたを呼びますので、それまでは注文されたとしても断っておいてください。In other words, the entire movie was... The entire movie was essentially tea. One word say... Sprang into mind. Insane. Uh, okay, uh, just to be clear, this is a cafe, right? Hi. ですから、その名の通り、お茶を飲む場を提供しています。Uh, you know, cafe means coffee in French, right? Are you sure that's all you need? あなたが言いたいことはわかります。ですが、この店は兄の趣味で経営しているもので、メニューも僕たちが用意できるものしか用意していません。what about this siphon coffee maker? 
I point to the appliance that, as far as I could tell, was only there for decoration. Menu にコーヒーはありませんが、使いたければどうぞ。So we can use it, but it's not on the menu. ええ。ですから誰も頼みません。We got a really nice oven in the kitchen too. Skyta Kereba Dozo. Tadashi, Boko got you bow, she o stay in a toki ni kaki ni. Yes, da. Right. There was so you c o t a day. Nani katara, Shirayuki ni san ni no, eat it aside. Hey, wait, who's going to clean the. But before I could finish the question, Gretel disappeared back into the kitchen. Dot, dot, dot. I looked around at. The messy dining area, then back at Snow White. I guess we'll have to handle this mess ourselves. Phew. Finished. Finally. I thrust my dust cloth into the air in celebration. We've taken out the overflowing trash, wiped down all the dusty shelves, and polished the floor with a fresh coat of wax. Now the cafe had been restored to its former glory. Hoorah! Now, all that's left is the kitchen. I hadn't seen Gretel since this morning. I didn't know what he's up to, but I promised him I wouldn't go in there, so there was nothing else I could really do. No sense in pushing my luck. I spun on my heels. And I actually slammed an elbow against the wall. <laughs> Gah! Something fell, and I hastily caught it with both hands. That was a close one. I had inadvertently knocked a little glass trinket from the top shelf. It had a big round ears and a long thin tail. Is this a mouse? It wasn't the most appropriate decoration for a restaurant, in my opinion, but at least it wasn't a real one. Hee <laughs> hee, cutie. I put the glass mouth back onto the shelf where I found it, then gently ran a finger over it. I didn't know who it belonged to, but it I was relieved to see it hadn't broken. With that crisis averted, I sat down on the corner and turned to Snow White, who, ha who was nose deep in a book. No customers, huh? It was just past noon, peak lunch hours, and yet the dining area was quiet. No sign of any visitors. Snow White didn't bother to look up from his book. Ha 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 ha. I laughed dryly. Snow White was a great help to me this morning, in the beginning, anyway. At first, I had him do the dishes, but he kept breaking plates. Then, when I told him to pick up trash, he threw everything into the trash bag seemingly at random. Eventually, I realized it'd just be faster for me to do everything, so that was what I did. He told me he'd never do, he'd never done, had. To do chores around the house before. Paired with his free, feeble appearance, he struck me as a little prince type. It's cute though. Naturally, this begs the question on how on earth did this place ever get clean before I got here? Oh, that reminds me. Where's Cinderella? I nearly forgotten our MVP. The entire point of coming here and working here was to get to know him. I was so blown away by the idea of a cafe with no customers that I momentarily forgotten all about him. Like where? I decided to change the subject. So. Is that a good book? It's me. Meh. I don't understand why we don't have any customers. I mean, Gretel's such a good baker. Maybe they're intimidated? Or maybe it's because the menu is too limited. Do you think I could add to it? Or would I get in trouble? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should. Oh, I know. Say, if I made lunch for us, would you eat it? <laughs> Okay, would you be opposed to me cooking for everyone? I don't 
Okay, cool. Lastly, do you think they'd mind if I cleaned their rooms or did their laundry? I feel like I need to earn my keep if I'm going to be living here with all of you. Oh, I should read that, sorry. You're not a freeloader, you're an employee. Why do more than you're being paid for? Hmm, well, the cafe is slow. I don't feel like I'm really earning my wage at all. You do you! Okay then, I will. Hee <laughs> Snow White shot me a dubious look as I giggled. I'm just really happy that you're talking to me, especially after last night. I thought maybe I upset you. He'll look down at the floor. I see. What? Why would I be upset with you? Oh, you mean how you didn't drink it? Uh, I wouldn't blame you for being a little skittish. You barely know me, after all. You mean you were... You mean when we were cleaning? Dot dot dot. He didn't respond. But he didn't go back to his book either. You're just clumsy. It's not the end of the world. Dot dot dot. Appreciate your concern, but trust me, it takes a lot more than that to get on my bad side. Jo. Then what about Cinderella? Snow White looked directly into my eyes. What about him? I blinked back. Oh, well, I think he's very generous, a very generous man. It was my honest opinion, at least thus far. Really? Just me? A heart of ash. そうだ。綺麗な君は気づかない。灰にまみれ、汚れてしまった人の心なんて。Pause for a moment. How do you respond to Snow White's evaluation of me? Well, say, I'm sure he has a good heart under all that ash. Put my hands on my hip. Ever heard of the phrase diamond in the rough? Sometimes you just need a little polish before you can really sparkle. And if he does have a heart of ash, like everyone claims, it's just proof that he's been through some tough times. He's a survivor. I'm a survivor. Na, 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 na. Besides, I can tell he's not a bad guy. Most people wouldn't hire a stranger off the street, no matter how good their tea was. Oh, I don't hold that against him. I did kind of look like a hobo last night. Wait, something felt off about this conversation. His question had been rather point, rather pointed thus far. Almost like he knew precisely how interested I was in Cinderella. Dot, dot, dot. Do you know who I am? I don't know Very observant and smart. Oops. I smiled sheepishly. Evidently, Snow White was one smart cookie. 
Do you think Gretel's figured it out too? Gotcha. What about you? So you'll keep my secret? Dot dot dot. He looked away. Thank you. You're an angel. You sure about that? Because I feel like you want to help me. I can see it in your eyes. Such a shame. You could manipulate the pants off of someone with those looks. Oh, but you're not supposed to make notice of his looks, dumb. Predictably, he's gone. <laughs> that depends. Do I look like a sheep or do I look like a wolf? I smirk mischievously. Dot, dot, dot. You don't want to be judged on appearance, but you'll judge me on mine. Hypocrite much? Dot dot dot. He looked away again, and the smirk left my face. People are going to judge you on your looks, brother. You like it or not. That's just a fact of life. I mean, that's all they have to go on at first, you know? Works the same way in the animal kingdom, too. They evaluate each other on eternal external factors, like whose wings are bigger, and whose mating call sounds better. But when it comes to us humans, we're more into, more to it than that. For example, over time you can often come to appreciate certain traits that might have put you off at first. The more time you spend with somebody, the more your impression of them can change. Because there's more to us than meets the eye. <laughs> or maybe my brother's just a prick. Maybe he is, but I think I can come to understand him eventually, as long as he gives me a chance. And, that, and now here I am, so who knows? Maybe fate is already working, worked its magic. Dot dot dot. He fell silent, so I pressed on. You know, I've been wondering, why is it that you brought me inside last night? I felt like it. With that, he got to his feet. Where are you going? Somewhere I can be alone, hopefully. He wants to read his book. And so he walked out of the dining area without a second glance. Dot dot dot. I guess I scared him off. I sighed. Frankly, I was worried that my presence was a burden on two Cinderella's younger brothers. I just hope we can get along. In the end, not a single customer stopped by that day. Maybe we should do something about it. No, we definitely need to fix it. Meanwhile, I dished out the salads for tonight's dinner. When I told Gretel I wanted to cook for everyone, he said to me, Sure, why not? And that was that. Permi permission granted. I still need to check with Cinderella, as well as the other Alice who supposedly lived next door to me, but I hadn't seen either of them all day. In fact, I hadn't seen Alice ever. But I was hoping to introduce myself, but no matter how many times I knocked on the door, no one ever answered. At this point, I wasn't even sure anyone was actually in there. There, all done. With dinner now ready, I went to fetch Gretel. Here you are. Bon appetit. Appetit. Um, when he arrived at the dinner table, he muttered in surprise. <laughs> I don't know about talented, I just like to cook, that's all. 
The table was lined with sandwiches, salads, and a big pot of stew. これだけできるのなら、得意と言ってもいいと思いますよ。Then maybe I should enter a talent show. Ha 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 ha. I knew he only said it to be polite, but it still felt nice to hear. As I was grinning to myself, I realized he was giving me a dismissal look. What? I tilted my head curiously, inviting him to speak his mind. Marde dore no yo desu ne. Hmm. It was so sudden and so very rude. You think so? I smiled back at him. Eh? Yori o tsukuru no mo, zentaku mo, soji mo. 普通は他人のために無償で行いませんから。ではあなたは誰のためにこんなことを ?Why I'm officially doing it for my own benefit, but it indirectly benefits the rest of you too. I guess I do chores for the same reason you bake. It's fun, and I'm good at it. I winked. Gretel raised his eyebrow and smiled. Nope, and neither do you. Now eat up before it gets cold. At least he began to eat my cooking. At last. Cinderella's little brothers sure are a handful. Sally, do you know if Alice is around? No, I don't think I'm going to go to bed. Great, I should tell him dinner's ready. I'm going to go to bed. Why is that? At, at my question, Gretel tilted his head in a show of contemplation. It was by all means the obvious solution. I don't think he'll answer the door. I tried a few times now. I think he's ignoring me. Oh, there's a trick to it. Goro curled his left into a sinister grin. Well, here I go again. Um, hello? Alice, are you there? I knocked on the door, no response, so I tried calling for him again. Hello? Alice, it's me. Alice from next door. After a long pause, I slumped my shoulders in defeat. He won't answer. This was my. This was no different from my previous attempts. No matter how many times I knocked or called his name, The person on, in the room never answered. Ha! I took a deep breath. Alice, you freeloading scum! Pay your rent, you deadweight loser! <laughs> I screamed insults at total stranger, stranger at the top of my lungs. According to Growl, this was the trick to get Alice to show himself. Oh, he unlocked. The moment later, he,、um, the lock clicked and the door swung open. Dot, dot, dot. I straightened my posture and donned a smile. Time to meet the infamous Alice. Hi there. As of tonight, I am your new. だいたいノックして一分経過した時点で出る気がないとなぜわからない。今時宅配便ですら一分も待たずに不在票を置いて帰るぞ。Out walked the guy with blonde hair and blue eyes. Oh right, you're a guy. I already knew this, but somehow I still came to a surprise. In fact, I scarcely even noticed. His little tirade. Zeevun to Mato Hasri na Hanno da na. Ah, so da. Mireba wakaru da ro. Boku a otoko da. Sore tomo, boku ga otoko igai no seibutsu ni mieru no ka. 
君の頭がいかれていてたとえ万が一にそう見えていたとしても僕は生物学的なオスと同義だちなみに女の子みたいなどというスイーツともの極めてバカバカしいざれ言を述べるのはやめてくれ。可愛いと呼ばれて喜ぶ男などオカマかホモか女装癖がある変態くらいなものだからな<笑>変態 I'm pretty sure Alice is a girl's name though だから君は名前だけで判断するのか考えなしにも程がある考えることを放棄しているいつの時代にも子供に珍しい名前を付けたがるバカな親は存在する受験、受験、パイポ、シューリンガー、グーリンガー、ポンポコピー、<笑>ポンポコナーみたいな Give it to me, Alice. I like that brute honesty. Uh, there are so many other names out there as well. Akira, Hikari, Kaori, Nagisa, Rin, Rei, Makoto, Haruka. He says none of those names. There are so many other names out there as well. Akira, Hikari, Kaori, Nagisa, Rin, Rei, Makoto, Haruka. He says none of those names. There are so many other names out there as well. となぎさその中でアリスという男がいてもヘッコポピーな名前が流行ってる昨今なんら不自然ではないだろう。アポスノーズ。I mean, truth. You're equating Alice to Apple. Out of nowhere, he pinched my cheek. <laughs> 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 で、何の用だ僕の心地よい眠りをわざわざ妨げるような重大かつ重要な要件があるんだろうなくだらん用事だったら君の表情筋をさらに鍛える手伝いをしてやるが I clap both my hands over my cheeks defensively I just wanted to let you know dinner was ready、うん、それはそれはどうもありがとうただ惜しい実に惜しい君が老舗旅館のおかみのごとく気が回れば僕はこんな風に気分を害することなく美味しい料理に舌包みを打ったことだろう、ね、君は夕飯の知らせに来たと言ったが突然すぎる君はバカかバカなのかバカ You're the バカ突然訪ねて突然夕飯の支度ができましたと言われてはいそうですかありがとうございますとても言うと思ったがもしも僕はルームサービスの存在に気づかずすでに食事を済ませていたらどうする空腹に耐えかね近くの店で安上がりの握り飯とウーロン茶で一服していたらどうする They have gas stations there? <laughs> Seems a little strange. 君はその分の代金を支払ってくれるのか君が僕の分の食事を取るのかふざけるな今時どこの旅館でも事前に食事の有無を確認するぞ Sorry. まあしょうがない若い女中に使える使えないなどとそんなことで目くじらを立てていては時間の無駄というものだからなそれで今日の夕飯は何だクリームスティー実に無難極まりないメニューだなまあ君に高級レストランさながらの充実した料理を期待するというのも野暮という<笑>ではそのままその足で厨房に戻り僕の分の食事を速やかに用意し
僕の部屋にお届けしてくれちなみにここは外国ではなく日本なのでチップはやらんが構わないな Sweet America Uh, well, okay, you want me to bring it to you? I can do that. Be right back. Alright, so get it. Ni. Sa. Chico. And so on his count, I raced down the stairs to the kitchen. Ah, Arisa. Do de shita ka, kare wa. He's so weird. <laughs> so de shio ne. あ、君はバカか。そんな見た目の悪い料理など受け取り拒否するに決まっているだろ。見た目も料理のうちだ。そして冷えた支柱も断じて料理などではない。Right. <笑> <laughs> Rejoice pleasantly. Enjoy your Sundere content. <laughs> oh my god, why is this game not in our lives sooner? I mean, I guess it was in our lives sooner, but at very poor um, translation. Um, thank you. ご飯など狂気の沙汰としか思えない僕は断固としてパンを支持する僕はパン派でありパン党だ支柱にはパン彼には何という風味だ So Alice snatched the tray from my hands and slammed the door in my face. What? A moment later, the door opened again. Chinamini, Kongo Shokujo Yoi Sudo Yuno Naraba. Manish Kimata Jikani Heano Maya Oito Kyo. Boka Shokujo Tabini Kimito Kao Awasetaku and Naino Dena. Chinamini Boku no Kishojikan wa Asaju. Yoko Boito. What? This time he closed the door for good and locked it. Okaerinasai. Zuibun to yarikomerate ita yo des ne. Okoma de koega kikoemashita. The carnage. He's very interesting, isn't he? I chose my words carefully as I spoke. Kawatte iru ikoru omoshiro ishito ka. You're so sweet. Personally, I would have used more fitting uh, ad adjective, like distasteful. <laughs> I mean, true. I felt his statement was crossing a line, but smiled awkwardly nonetheless. Is he always like that? So, this ne. Ochira ga ichi itta koto ni taishi. Jiu kaette kuru. Ah, ieba kouyu. So itta hiniku ya de henkutsu na hito desu. Sounds entertaining to say the least. Gretel grinned. How long has he lived here anyway? So you don't know how much that much about him, even though he's a tenant in your house. Bokta 
I see. Perhaps it was in fact Cinderella who was the weirdest person in the family. Ah, oh, jeez. Maka Leave it to me! Mm -hmm. Thank you for dinner. It was scrumptious. Girdle got to his feet, leaving his empty plate on the table. You're very welcome. Oh yeah, do you have any favorite dishes in particular? Yup, if I can, sure. I'm not sure about that. Anything sweet. Okay, I'll think of something. After Gretel left, I patiently waited for Cinderella to come home after I ate. Hours ticked by until dinner time had long since passed. He sure is out late tonight. My stomach rumbled for the upteenth time. Mmm. I clenched my abdomen. Ha. I glanced over at the sub and debated, reheating the stew now that it was almost certainly ice cold. No, I should wait for Cinderella. I shook my head, finding the urge to sate my own needs. Sat? Sate? Sat? All this time I waited, specifically so I could have dinner with Cinderella. If I ate without him, it would mean this hours-long investment was all in vain. As I wrestled with myself, dot dot dot, in walked the man himself. Welcome home, Cinderella. Would you like dinner? I ran over to him with a smile. Listen, I was wondering, would you mind if I cooked and cleaned for everyone? Oh no, I don't need more money. Before I could even finish my simit, he left the room without a second glance. Dot dot dot. What am I going to do with the rest of the stew? As I mumbled sadly to myself, my stomach squeaked at me. Dot dot dot. I was kind of... It was kind of cute, actually. Really? A sad girl still got to eat. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know where you found cute. Late that night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> なんか食べるもんはねえかなっと。お、結構あるじゃんか。さらみさらみ。あ、鍋。なんだこれ。そういや、あの女食事がどうとか言ってたな。鍋ごと冷やしやがったのか。うん。うまいじゃねえか。<笑><笑><笑> Oh, good morning, Cinderella. Oh, hi, Oni, sir. Ah, hi. Cinderella walked in right as I was preparing at breakfast. He looked grumpy. Maybe he wasn't a morning person. Figured he'd walked out again, but instead he plopped himself down in a chair and stared at me. What's up? I looked back at him curiously. With what? 
俺の分は He tapped his fingers on the table, and he glanced pointly at Gretel's plate. This could only mean one thing. You want me to cook for you? Oh, okay. Coming right up. As I launched into cooking at the speed of light. A few minutes later, I plated a very fluffy omelet along with salami and cheese. Croissant sandwich. To keep things healthy, I added a splash of color. I, I dish him some fruit along with it. I had a feeling this would suit your preference. Oh, but if you'd rather have Japanese food, I can make some fried fish and miso soup instead. Currently, I was heating up some French onion soup to go along with it. The croissant sandwich he was eating was actually cheaper than what I had suggested, but I decided to keep that to myself. Oh, I'll just eat leftover soup from last night. Cinderella munched on his croissant sandwich, sounding altogether disinterested. I watched him for a moment, then decided to ask him something that had been on my mind. You know, it's funny, last night I could have sworn there was a ton of stew left, but come this morning I found there was only enough for one more serving. You wouldn't have to know anything about that, would you? So he froze. Dot dot dot. Ah, so yeah, Reda. Antano Kinosen and Janeno. So reca, Reda. You are your say no she was up the Yatsana. Oh, of course, a fairly. He probably snuck in while I was sleeping and helped himself. I cast my hands together. And so so. Uh huh. He gave me an. On middle grunt. Gretel cut in, Cinderella fell silent. <laughs> you ate some, didn't you? <laughs> and so he angrily admitted to his crime. He. Annoyed, Cinderella averted his gaze. At this point, he was likely to storm off somewhere. Okay, I gotta go take some up to Alice's room. Once you've eaten, I'll make you something to drink. I hastily took the hit and made myself scarce. Good morning, Alice. I called out to him from the other side of the door, but he didn't respond. Granted, it was possibly he was still asleep because it was 9 a.m. He had told me he woke up every morning at 10. Now you might be wondering, why not arrive at 10 a.m. like he asked? And the answer is quite simple. 10 a.m. was the only, was when the cafe opened for business. Breakfast is ready. I'll leave it here for you. Unwilling to waste any more time, I dragged my bedside table out to the hall and set it set the tray out onto it. When I returned to the kitchen, Gretel was raising his dirty, rinsing his dirty dishes off in the sink. Oh, I can take care of that. Well, okay. Guess I'll take you up on that. Thanks. I appreciate it. I glanced over at Cinderella to find him nearly done with his own breakfast. 
In that case, I'll make us a little something to drink. How about some coffee? We also have black tea and green tea. Coffee day. Espresso or cafe a latte. Au lovely latte. Cafe au lait. Cafe au lait. What about you, Gretel? Bokumo cafe au lait. Pinching the hem of my dress, I curtsied gracefully. Coming right up. <laughs> Humming to myself, I clicked the switch on the siphon coffee maker. Once the water began to boil, the steam rose to the top, mixing with the coffee grounds and began the brewing process. Perfect! While I, would, oop, while I waited for the coffee to brew, I bustled around the dining area to get the milk and utensils ready. No, Gretel. What is this? This is a house. This is a Next thing I knew, Cinderella and Gretel were suddenly standing behind me. You have a coffee Yep, it's actually my favorite way to make coffee. It's fun to watch the steam rise to the top, you know, kind of like magic. And when it's all done, it smells amazing. <laughs> then what's the point of having one? So it's both functional and aesthetic. That's so smart. But so Cinderella did return my smile. Dot dot dot. What? Uh, I guess I'm a ditz then. I put my index feeder finger to my chin and tilted my head in a cutesy display. <laughs> oh, haha, sorry, but I'm not being sarcastic. Honest. Oh, the coffee's nearly ready now. Go on and have a seat over there. Dot, dot, dot. At my suggestion, Cinderella fell silent and sat down. Nisa,彼女は一筋縄ではいかない性分のようですが、兄さんのような人ではまず立ち打ちできない。甘く見てると簡単に籠絡されますよ。するかよ。She's <laughs> gonna pussy whip you. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what he said. Twenty minutes later, there you go. I set two cups of coffee on the counter. Say that again. I poured a cup for myself and joined them at the counter. Huh? It's quite possibly the world's most blatant question. I want to tell him. He didn't let me introduce myself, but held my tongue. I'm Alice. Nani Alice da yo. Huh? Oh, my last name? Caught off guard. I couldn't help myself but stammer. Well, it's. Oh god, what do I do now? I knew I needed to give him something, anything, but nothing sprang to my mind as I hesitated. <laughs> He shrugged. He's rather sudden about face, considering he was the one who asked in the first place. Kojinjigyonushitoshtewa, Abunai 
悪名高いあなたの弟だということで被害を被っているのに身内が犯罪者だなんて耐えられない。それに客が来なくともここの地下は上がり続けている。いざとなったら店の設備ごと高値で売り払ってバイバイよ。You sell off your own cafe? ああ、一番の高値がついた頃にはな。まあ、そういやあんたはこの店がなくなったら困るのか。ま、世の中は不公平だ。Such an ass. Right. I can't think of anything more. To say. Instead, I wondered absently how he would react if he found out I was his fairly wealthy perspective fiance. <laughs> Then why call this a cafe at all? So、そのいえにすんでるってだけだ。それなら別に何の不思議もねえだろ。お客さん、それで、why セレブな俺にとっては慈善活動みたいなもんだ。ただ、そうだな。あんたの作る料理はうまいし、もしかすると、もしかするかもな。Do you like to learn? Oh, yes, absolutely. I raise my hand in a pick me gesture. Okay, 
面白そうなことには部屋を出さずにはいられなくなるたちだ。So、really、curious type, I take it. My image of Cinderella continued to shift from upper class snob to good Samaritan to a inquisitive oddball. よし決めた Suddenly he slapped his thigh. 今日からこの店をこの国一番の喫茶店にするぞ<笑>突然何言ってるんですかおいアリス。Yes. I straightened my posture. あんたが好きにやれよ。メニューを増やすなりなんなり、思うようにやれ。俺が金を出してやる。でそれを元手にして俺をうならせるほど金を稼ぎ出して底辺からのし上がってこい<笑> Printing enough money. We decided to fetch Snow White and give him an overview of our new goal. Yep. で俺に何かいい案がないかと。Yep. The end. He turned on his heels, but I quickly grabbed him by the arm. Wait, please don't go. Dot, dot, dot. He rightly turned back with a skull plastered on his face. Shirayuki, Dose, Omae, Mo, Hima, Daro. Come on, you're dead. I'm going to get a lot of money. No, I'm not going to get a lot of money. That's not true. You know what they say two heads are brighter than one. Not a kitesu, I'm d u s t i n He was referring to his brothers, of course. Shira Yukini, sir. Akirameta Hoga, eat this yo. Kono Hito no itsumo no kimagre this. Gretel jerked his thumb at Cinderella. Dot, dot, dot. Snow White skull deepened and Samara leaned, cleared his throat awkwardly. Oh, my God. Coco no Kaye Shawa, Dare. Cinderella Nisan, this ne. Oh, my God. Coco no Oite Yatten no a Dare. Cinderella Nisan. So, Doctor. Dare ni Staga Bekina no Ka. 理解できるな、可愛い弟たち。ダダダダダダ。Finally, Snow White plopped down into a chair as though he resigned himself for the worst. In contrast with Cinderella's smile, the younger guys both looked disgruntled. Sorry for dragging dragging you into this. <laughs> 別に余計なことをなんて思ってませんよ。Dot, dot, dot. Oh, he's pissed, all right. まあ、いいです。とりあえず話し合いとやらをして、さっさと結論を出しましょう。He steepled his fingers together. 偉大は。どうしたらこの店にお客が訪れるようになるかでいいですねはいじゃあまずは時計回りにアリスさんから意見をどうぞ My heart skipped a, a beat in surprise Me? OK let's see、um... I think I'm gonna stop here. It's been about two hours, so. Quick save. Now, where's the other save? There's usually like another save, but I guess I'll just quick save here.、Um, so we'll pick up soon. I will be playing more、um, now that the holidays are over and all that jazz. I have more time to play games. Yay! So I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time. Bye!